Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 5 training part 15. In this training module, we're going to be exploring the power enrichment function. That's what we transfer into when we go into full throttle high load situations. We're going to learn how it works and how to program it properly and working within the values of EQ ratio. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at understanding the power enrichment programming and tuning within our Gen 5 applications. Now, we've talked about up to this point in our training course, the differences between open and closed loop. Specifically, we've talked about closed loop operation. Closed loop is when we look at the front primary oxygen sensor signal, and that drives a feedback into our engine control module that allows us to vary the injector pulse width based on knowing how far we're off from the target air fuel to the measured air fuel. So there's gonna be what's known as an O2 error that error drives the short and long-term fuel corrections. So we know at idle and part throttle, it looks at the front oxygen sensors and it can start to sort itself out and make sure that it's running at the desired target. Now, if we go into full throttle situation, so we get into high throttle, high load, we don't wanna run the engine with looking at the front primary oxygen sensor because it runs it at that stoichiometric ratio, 14.7 to one. We wanna go and enrich an upper mixture. We wanna avoid knock or pre-ignition as we get into full throttle, we're allowing more airflow into the engine, the cylinder pressure is picking up, the combustion temperature is picking up, and we need to cool things down in order to avoid knock or pre-ignition. Also to make more power, as we feed the engine more fuel, we will have more torque and horsepower production up to a certain point. Now, that, as we enter full throttle, going in and commanding a different mixture, so a richer mixture, is what's known as power enrichment in our GM applications. The power enrichment is triggered based on throttle conditions. It's also based on uh, torque scaling or torque weighing that's being calculated um, in our engine control module. Let's jump in and take a look at where we can find the power enrichment and talk about some of the programming. We're gonna talk about how this actually works. It's pretty basic in terms of how this gets triggered, but it's good to understand what's going on in the background, how the GM ECM is actually working and working through the power enrichment mode. Okay, so I have a Yukon Denali file open. Any Gen 5 file will work to take a look at this power enrichment being triggered. So I'm gonna go in here to engine, go into our engine tab, go in from general, and we're gonna go in here to fuel, and then from fuel, we're gonna jump into power enrich. And power enrich here, this is where we program all the conditions to trigger into that richer mixture when we're in high load, high throttle situations. So we have over here, there's an enable. This allows it to actually turn on and run power enrichment. We also have this enable pedal threshold here. This enable pedal will be relative to actually triggering it on. So it has to meet our enable conditions here, which are typically set pretty low. It also has to meet a pedal threshold. So we have to have enough accelerator pedal input. The accelerator pedal is what we put our foot on in the car. It is drive by wire. So the pedal and plate relationship, the actual plate on the drive by wire itself on the engine, it does have um, uh, not a linear relationship there, but the pedal is what we actually input our foot onto. That's what drives this table. It has to meet these conditions here. It also has to make sure that it's satisfying the delay or the period of time it would wait to trigger this power enrichment that we command here. So we're gonna go over programming this in just a little bit. Let's jump into our power enrichment EQ ratio table. There's an EQ ratio gas and an EQ ratio alcohol. If you're flex fuel based, then it'll be sourcing and weighing between both of these tables. If you're gonna be just tuning on petrol fuel, pump gas, it'll be looking at our EQ ratio gas. This table here is based on our manifold temperature, also based on our engine speed at the top. We can see we have these values in the table. These are kind of a odd looking value. If you're uh, used to tuning in units of lambda or even target air fuel, these aren't gonna make a whole lot of sense. Now we'll talk about what these values actually represent here in just a little bit. Let's understand how the power enrichment is going to actually richen up our fuel mixture. It's pretty basic. What we're gonna do is jump into our Excel spreadsheet calculator. This is our GM Gen 5 Excel calculator. We're gonna move in our calculator here, spreadsheet, into our Lambda tab. In our Lambda tab, we're just gonna go over how this actually functions. It's pretty straightforward here. And we're gonna have an underlining equation. We've talked about this in several times in other training modules. Fuel mass is equal to air mass divided by target air fuel. Now the air mass that's gonna be registered and measured from speed density and mass airflow operation. We have a hybrid mode, it blends between those at any given time. We'll be able to determine what the air mass coming into the engine is going to be at any operation point. Now we need to specify a target air fuel that we wanna run at. 
and the target air fuel. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.